Welcome to the Learning Tube. This is Lorette and Alicia is on the line as well. Hey Alicia, are you there? I am Lorette. Hello. Hey, so what we're doing on this training is that, well first of all, it's the 4th of July. So happy 4th of July. And so with that theme, we wanted to do a webinar today on tools that will set you free. <laughs> so this is all about tools and resources that are going to make your life easier. And the whole concept around most of them, some of them know, but most of them is like automating things, right? And things that just make you look like a superstar, like make you look like a graphic designer, even if you're not a graphic designer. Or make things, you know, shortening the time frame to do things, or just getting you more organized. So these are tools that we use in our business, or we know some of our friends use in their business to, once again, set you free, right? So happy 4th of July, and we're going to jump right in. Alicia, are you ready? I'm ready, Lorette. Let's do it. Fireworks time. All right. So the first set of tools, first I'm just going to talk about them, and then I actually want to show you how they work in action. So the first one, the first two, actually, um, so, and also just to kind of preface this, I know some of these tools we've talked about before because we love them. So some of these you'll be familiar with. Either you use it already or we've talked about it many times, but we want to highlight them again because they are so awesome. Okay, so the first one is called Hootsuite, and the second one is called Buffer. Both of these tools are great tools to help you schedule social media postings, right? So that means that you can schedule. So, for example, on one of our Facebook pages, we have a post scheduled every day for the next two months, and we set that up through Hootsuite, right? So it's kind of a set it and forget it tool. And Buffer is the same thing. Both of them, you can schedule your social media posts. So today's July 4th. Guess when we schedule that July 4th post? Like a month ago, right, for some of our pages. Because we knew it was July 4th, and automatically on July 4th, that post posted. So it's a really set it and forget it automated way to schedule your social media. Now the next two tools, IFTT, that means if this, then that. Right? If you guys are, any of you are computer programmers, you would understand that's computer language, if this, then that. And the other one is Zapier. Now these two tools, I love them because they automate things for you. So let's say, for example, I post something on my Facebook page. Now you can automatically say when something is posted on your Facebook page, post it on these three places as well. So if I post on my Facebook page, it's automatically going to post to my Twitter page, or it's automatically going to post to my Google Plus, or something like that. But you can set up things, they're called recipes, and you can set up different recipes to do all sorts of things. Now, a, a funny little story, I was testing out the recipes, and one of them was whenever you, you could set it up to say whenever you got a phone call, or what was it, whenever you got an email from this particular person, your phone would ring. So like if your boss sent you a email, your, your phone would ring so that it would tell you, you just got a message from John Smith. You know, so it would notify you. So I tested it with Alicia. Oh my goodness. Do you remember that, Alicia? My phone was ringing off the hook. I was like, stop emailing me. So I had to turn off that uh, recipe, <laughs> but it was I was just testing it, and I was the wrong person to test it with. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> but, it, you know, it's a cool thing, and I, I'm going to show you all the different things that you can do with that. And then Zapier. Zapier is the same type of concept. It automates different things for you. One example that we had with Zapier is that one of our programs, people entered in their mailing address. And from that, it took their mailing address and sent it to our direct mail uh, house that mails out direct mail pieces. So it took their email and it filtered it or did whatever it needed to do, and it automatically sent it to our place that prints out a physical booklet that mails to them. So I didn't have to do anything. It was all automated. And Zapier can, has all these different recipes that you can use to automate processes. So let's go over there right now. So I'm going to show you these four. So one second. Let me pull it up on my screen. All right. So this first one 
is Hootsuite. No, wait, yeah, you, you and the team, you use Hootsuite. We right? do, yes, and we use it for client work. So that's the exciting part about it is that, you know, if you want to start a business where you're managing social media for clients, use Hootsuite. Yeah, definitely. And the great thing about Hootsuite, we gave you that link. It was aliciawittle.com slash Hootsuite. And there's free versions and there's paid version. I believe the paid version is when you get the more profiles that you have, you pay for that. Is that right, Alicia? The, that's correct. Right. And so, but here you have a 30-day <laughs> free trial. So yeah, I was going to say that. that. You have a 30-day free trial right here. You can compare different plans. And um, let's see. You can see it's posting to Twitter. Here's Instagram. Here's um, different things that you could do with YouTube. Um, you, it gives you some stats and stuff in there. You can, you know, right here, protect your brand. So you can do all different types of things on here. Let's see. What else can I say about Hootsuite? You know, since it's a free 30-day trial, I would jump right in and just check it out and see all the cool things that it can do. It's really simple to use. And it's also something that if you have a virtual assistant, which is what we do, we'll say, you know, go ahead and schedule for the month. And they know at the beginning of every month, they have to schedule all the tweets for our pages. You can see over here on the left-hand side of this, you know, the screen here does all this stuff. You can compose, you can see reports, and, you know, you can add different users to your account. So really great way to monitor your social media and to automate that. Now, this next one is Buffer, and Buffer is basically the same thing, right? It's pretty much the same as Hootsuite. It's just another opportunity, you know, another one you want to check out. Sometimes it's personal preference of how it's, you know, the navigation or so forth. Uh, but it does the same thing. You schedule your post and let's see if anything. So here it's showing Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest. Oh, this one's got Pinterest on it. I'm not sure if Hootsuite has Pinterest. Do you know if Hootsuite has Pinterest, Alicia? You know, I don't it think does. so. I, I don't know because I'm not using it, but I don't think so, but we could check. Yeah, so, you know, that's a, you know, that may be a reason why you want Buffer over uh, over Hootsuite. But definitely check it out. I'm sure this one has a free trial as well, or a free version. Yep, it says right here, sign up for free. So check them out. See which one you like. And Buffer also has this really cool tool called Pablo. So if you scroll down on the page, you will be able to see, I know it's taking a little bit to load, that right here is Pablo. It is an awesome tool, and I know, Alicia, you use it, but you can upload, you can add, they have a whole database of pictures, okay? So look on the left, you see all these pictures. And then they have a database of quotes. And you can choose a picture, choose a quote, and then over here on the right-hand side, it gives you the formatting. So it says tall is for Pinterest, square is for Instagram, and it automatically puts the proper size you can also add your own images, your own quotes, and it's just a really cool free tool that you can use to create content for your social media pages, right? So Pablo is a great tool that is released by Buffer, and it is um, something that I definitely, you know, that's a little bit of a plus or a bonus with using Buffer. But you can use Pablo without Buffer too. Right? All right. And, and I would just say that it is it is like their bonus free tool, but the, the thing that I like about it the most is that it's a free tool, right? So right. very cool. And as you were saying, like just see which tool works best for you, but it's definitely worth it to test a few of them out. Right. And here's the social networks that Buffer works with, which is pretty much every network that is important. <laughs> so that's Buffer right there. So awesome. Hootsuite and Buffer. Now the next one, oh this didn't load very good, is If This Then That. This one I love. It automates things, right? And it and it's free. So sign up for a free account. And they call it applets now. They used to be called recipes, but now they're called applets. But there's different things that you can do, and you can get, like, addicted to this. But uh, let's see. I'm going to click on 18 applets for Google. So let's see. Uh, 
you know, you can have the, all these different, these are pre-made applets. So here's like get a notification when you get an email. Let's see if it, is my screen showing yet? Okay, yeah. So this one says get up a notic notification when you get an email from a specific person. So like I said, you know, I got a phone call every time Alicia sent me an email. <laughs> but this is saying, you know, this particular person, you can get a notification for that. Um, let's see. But you can, let's see, uh, those aren't that good examples. Uh, but you can make up your own examples or you can use these, I mean, your own applets, or you can create, use these ready-made ones. So let's see, I think I'd have to sign up if I did it. Yeah, I don't want to sign up right now. But anyway, go through this, use it, you know, look at some of these applets that you could maybe implement. Let's see if this, well, that's if you have a iPhone. Um, so backup photos automatically on Facebook. You can do, like here it says, every day at 6 p.m., add tomorrow's weather report to your calendar. But you can make one that's similar. You can say, every day at 6 p.m., add my Google Notes to my notebook or, or whatever. You know, so you can create all these different things to help automate your life, right? And when you go through it, um, it walks you through how to set these up. So you'll understand it a little bit more once you sign up and start creating recipes. So create an account and right here get started and it'll walk you through what you want to do. It's so cool. I love it. And I was just giving you an example right here of this one. So this one, um, you can see one of our accounts. Yep. So we posted this on Facebook. And it automatically posted to, this is one of our, our tour company's account, and it automatically posted to his Twitter account. And the way that I know that if this, then that did it is it says right here, from Oregon team, and that's the little tag that they put showing that, you know, it was done by if this, then that. But I'm just showing you how it automatically did it, right, because we set up that little trigger. Okay, so that's an example of it in action. All right, now the next one is Zapier. This is the same concept of if this, then that, and it connects different things to work properly. So link your apps in a few clicks so they share data. You can automate it, um, become more innovative. Like we said, uh, like so here, trigger. When I get a new email in Gmail, copy, oops, oh, it's going through. It says copy the attachment from Gmail to Dropbox and then alert me in Slack about the new Dropbox file. So this is just an example of how somebody created a system to help them, you know, know when things happen, right? Start different workflows. And you'll see sometimes when you're creating different things online, it'll ask you if you want to connect via Zapier, right? So let's see. Things that you can use, like apps if you're using Google Sheets, Gmail, so I could do something like we use Google Sheets a lot with our team. We use Google Apps, Google Docs. So I can say, for example, when I enter in a new line on Google Sheets, send an email to Alicia or send a text message to Alicia when I enter in something into Google Sheets or send her a you know, message, whatever. But you know, things like that are things that you could set up to help automate things. So once you do set up, go, once you create an account at these two places, if this, then that, as well as Zapier, you'll see all the different types of recipes that you can create. And once again, both of them are free. There is a premium version if you want to get more high tech. Um, and this is, it says it's $20 a month. But I know a lot of people use Zapier as well as if this, then that. Now, Alicia, have you, you know that these two are both great tools to help save time, right? Right, right. I mean, one of the things that I do too, again, getting back to client work, I'll just come in with the client work examples, is for one of my clients, I say every time they get a new follower on Twitter, to add it to a Google document. So there's this great Google document with all their new Twitter followers on it. Bam, what do you think they think about that? So my Zapier account, has so much in it that I have a paid Zapier account, but it helps. The, the most frustrating thing is that I'm not using it the way that I should be. Like, I'm sure I could take it to the next level. 
Right. There's so much things that you can do. And like the example Alicia just gave really makes a client, because the clients don't know what Zapier is, but it no, makes them become, right, and don't tell them. <laughs> but the client sees that and they're like, wow, that's a lot of work that they're doing. And wow, look at all these new followers, right? So, you know, think of things like that and how you can make yourself shine, like how you could look like a shining star and how you can make your life easier. Like I use the example of how it automatically ships out our booklets for us um, right. when I add it to our site. Yeah, so those are two awesome automation tools, so check those out. All right, so now we're going to go back to the PowerPoint. Let's see. Okay, so those were the scheduling, social media. So these weren't really social media, but this is scheduling and automation, these bottom two. All right, so Hootsuite, Buffer, If This and That, and Zapier. Hopefully everybody got that. All right, we're going to keep going. So now we're going to talk about collaboration tools. So we've got the top three. We've got Wonderlist, which is a great tool that you can use as far as to-do lists. We've talked about that one before. Teamwork is a great tool. I use it, especially with client work and working with our outsourced team. It's a great way to schedule tasks and to keep everything in one centralized location. One thing I hate is sending emails back and forth and things just get lost and there's so many emails in my inbox and it's just not efficient, right? But if you're working with a client and you use teamwork, all the emails are in one thread, in one location, you can always refer back to it. All of their files, if you need to send them files back and forth, it's all within the teamwork platform. So you never have to be like, I can't find this, I can't find that. It's all there. That's the great thing about it. Um, and then Slack is a tool that you can use to help communicate within your team. We personally don't use that, but I know a lot of people that do use it and love it. Um, and then we've got Join Me, Snag It, and Jing Project. Now Join Me is a tool that will allow you to do screen sharing with other people. Like so how we're doing this GoToWebinar, Join Me is like a quick free way to share your screen. It's great when you're using it for uh, outsourcing like your virtual assistants and so forth to show them, you know, to meet with them or if you're just meeting with clients. Me and Alicia use it quite often when we're just meeting with each other on projects. So join.me. And then Snagit and Jing Project are two great tools that will help you record your screen. This is amazing. Uh, I use this pretty much every single day. Do you use it every single day, Alicia? Jing or Snagit? I do, yes, I do. Yeah, multiple times a day I use it. Um, and because a lot of times, you know, when you're trying to explain something and you're typing in an email, things get lost. People don't understand. And all you have to do is record your screen. So you say, okay, so you record your screen. You're like, okay, so uh, Jennifer, what I need you to do is underline this, go to this site, do this, and explain it in video so they know what you're talking about. Um, a great example is yesterday we did a proposal for a business. So I put together the proposal. And then with the proposal, what I did was I did a video with it explaining the proposal. Right now, don't you think that is going to leave a better impression and a better understanding of what I was explaining, right? So I did a video explaining the proposal and sent it over. Um, and that's just a great way to use it. I use it every day explaining things to our team. It's a great way to use it to explain things to clients. So I highly, highly recommend it. Um, these are just two different ones that you can use. So let's quickly go over there, and I'm going to go over these different tools. Okay, so here's Wonderlist. We actually talked about this before, but this is a great tool. It's basically a to-do list, and I love it because you it syncs with all your different platform. So like, it's, like I use it on my phone and I use it on my computer. And it's, it's just quick and easy. Like if I think it's a task that I got to do, then I just quickly write it on my wonder list. And then I can share that with different people. So like Alicia is on some of my projects and I can assign her tasks. I can assign my virtual assistant tasks. And it's just, a, it's just quick and easy to use. I, I think that's why I like it so much because it's not 
overly complicated. It's basically a to-do list, right? So quick and easy. Uh, you can assign due dates. You can collaborate with people. It's just really simple and easy to use. Okay, so that is Wonderlist. And then teamwork is the one that I was saying that is great to use when you have clients and larger projects. So if you have a larger project that has multiple pieces in it, or if you're working with a client and you need everything centralized, teamwork is definitely a great tool. Um, I've been using it for probably four years now. Um, it's got a lot of bells and whistles that you can add to it. We don't use everything. Um, let's see. It's got a free 30-day trial. Yeah, and it's just a really good tool, um, especially if you have big projects and you're working with clients. I definitely recommend teamwork. Okay. Now, this next one is Slack. Slack is a great tool that you can use that a lot of people use with their internal team, like to help thing, keep things organized with your team and communicate with your team. Um, that's what Slack is normally used for. I, once again, have not used it, um, but I know a lot of people that do use it, so it's definitely something that you can, you know, that you can check out. They also have a free version. Um, but it's basically keeping the communication between your team. And it's great, especially if your team is all over the place. Um, this is a great way to keep up with them. Okay, so this one is called Slack. Um, here is the Jing Project. This is the one that you have to use. This is, I totally recommend this one. Um, Jingproject.com. This is where you capture the screen recording, right? The screen recording. Um, so here you can capture images, video capture, and then mobile capture. Have you done mobile, Alicia? I haven't used it on my mobile phone. No, I haven't, but... Aha! Uh -huh. Test it, test it. <laughs> so awesome. And then you can do video trimming, record audio, so it's just awesome. Um, you can do screenshots and add these different annotations to it. Um, and so it's really, really cool right there. Okay, so that is Snagit. I mean that, oh, that is, is text is, right, so that was, let me see. Yeah, Snagit is, is by TechSmith. Snagit and Jing oh. are both by TechSmith. They're the same, yeah, okay. So, all right, so those are the two, the screen sharing. It's something that you need to get. Now, this next one is Join Me. So we talked about Join Me, and this is a quick and easy way to do a meeting online. So just like we're using GoToWebinar, this is the free one that you could use. Uh, collaborate with your team, clients, whatever. Join.me, definitely recommend it. It's quick, easy, and I love it. Um, all right, so I think anything else on that, Alicia? I'm going to go back to the PowerPoint. No, I like it, though, because sometimes, like, me and you just need a really quick way to meet, and we don't want to, you know, go through all the rigmarole, so <laughs> I like it. Yeah. So now this next one, we're going to talk about email. So I'm not sure if a lot of you get flooded with email, but we get flooded with email. And there's uh, three tools right here. The first one is Boomerang. Now, I used to use this one a long time ago. I stopped, but now I'm using it again. And I know Alicia uses it quite frequently. Alicia, tell us a little bit about Boomerang. So what I love best about Boomerang is that I can send messages later. So here's a really good example. So my, my personal assistant, I'm just going to pull up an email so I can talk about it as I'm doing it. Yeah, so my personal assistant. So I write her an email when I'm like, um, the deadline is Friday for something. So I'm telling her on Monday, Here's what's on deck for this week, deadline Friday. And then I'm like, all right, I don't want the girl to forget. So then I set up reminders that go out on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday morning that say, hey, reminder, deadline, Friday, get it done, report back to me. And then Friday morning, I send a message. But I ske I'm scheduling everything on Monday. That's the beauty about it. So it's like set it and forget it. Because so many times I want to... You know, like I'm writing down everything. All right, send a reminder, send an email. Now you don't have to do that anymore. It'll do it for you. So I love it. And also, I will send an email again if I don't get a reply. So it has this 
feature, this send later feature, where it says, okay, if the person doesn't reply, send them another message two days later if they don't reply. So, because sometimes, you know, the people that we're emailing at <coughs> Lorette don't always see the emails that we send to them. So we got to, we have to do it more than once, right? Yeah, so great tool. One, one way that I recently used it is I wanted to send somebody an invoice at the end of the month and I was ready to send them the email now, but they shouldn't have got it for like another week. So I just scheduled it, you know, in a week, send this email and it was their, you know, their payment link. Um, so doing things ahead of time, love it. It's a great tool, Boomerang. And it's free. There's a free version and a paid version. Alicia has the paid version. Not really sure what she's paying for, <laughs> but I have the free version. <laughs> I don't know, I'm so, happy with it, I'm good. <laughs> and then, okay, so that's Boomerang. And then the next one is Unroll Me. Um, and the thing about Unroll Me that I like is that, you know, we sign up for a lot of things online, and sometimes your email gets flooded with all these emails that you don't even know that you signed up with. Unroll Me can unsubscribe you at a bunch of, you know, some quick clicks to unsubscri unsubscribe you from multiple email lists. Now, I'm warning you, the only thing I would, that I don't want you to do is don't unsubscribe from us. <laughs> right, Alicia? I don't even know why you're showing them this, but yeah. <laughs> well, they wouldn't unsubscribe from us anyway. True, true. But I think it's a great tool. Then the next thing is email game, right? It's the email game, and that is a way that you, it times you to um, help you answer your emails quicker and to actually take action on each email. So you have to do an action. You either have to reply, you have to move it, you have to delete it, you have to take an action on your email and it times you. So it makes it into um, a fun game. Uh, and I know Alicia likes to play a game. So I let me just show you. <laughs> so here is Boomerang. So um, this gives you the opportunity to schedule emails to be sent later, as well as easy email reminders. So great tool right here. Um, Follow-ups is for mobile, and then remind people if you don't hear back. Um, oh, I didn't realize this. Look, at this has now respondable. An assistant uses artificial intelligence to help you write better. Interesting. Um, yes, I have that. I have oh, that. That's what you're paying for. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure, but I love it. <laughs> so, Boomerang, definitely check that out. Here's the email game. So here, you enter in your email address, and it loads up your email, and you start playing the game. Okay? So, you start playing the game. Right? And uh, it's a great tool. It's fun. It gets things done quick. Um, I like it. The next one is Unroll Me. So, like Alicia said, I don't even know why you're showing this. But I'm showing it to you because I think it's a great tool. So, if you can easily unsubscribe from emails that you don't want to be part of their list anymore. Just don't unsubscribe from us. Right? So, it's free. Um, it goes into your email and it shows you all of the, the things that you're subscribed to and you can quickly unsubscribe from them. Um, so, like here, this is an example here. That somebody wanted to unsubscribe from Blackjack Casino Rewards, right? They're not interested in that. But they want to keep this and they want to keep that. So that's just some examples right there. Um, all right. That is, I believe, what we had for that section. And then now we are back to PowerPoint with the last section. And these are our design and graphic tools. Now, we love these. I know Alicia loves this. Canva. Canva is an amazing tool that you can do all sorts of fun stuff with. Um, Pixabay and Unsplash are two stock photo sites that you can get royalty-free images from. Now, that's very important when you're doing any type of design work. You can't just go get a picture off of Google and claim it as your own. You have to have royalty-free pictures. So let's go over and show you some of those real quick. All right. We've got, let's see, we've got, I'm seeing Canva. Okay, so we've got Pixabay right here. We've got, um, you can type in anything that you want, like dog, and it will show you all these free pictures that you can use 
if you're doing something related to dogs, right? So you type in anything that you're looking for, and it gives you all these free, amazing pictures, right? And then we've got Unsplash, which is another one. These have more artistic pictures, I would say, um, but it's definitely some awesome images that you can use for any type of social media stuff or anything at all, right? Just great images. So that is Pixabay that's on the screen right now, and then Unsplash should show up in a minute. And we also, if you go to thelearningtube.com, you'll see our YouTube channel. On our YouTube channel, we actually just did a quick tip. One of the quick tips was free stock photos, and it had all about um, the different stock photos and a long list of different places that you can use uh, that have amazing stock photos. Okay, so, and then Canva, I believe, Alicia, you've done some training on Canva as well. So, um, that is a great tool to help you design all sorts of things, right? To help you design all sorts of things. Kindle book covers, Facebook ads. It's a design tool, by far, Facebook is a favorite one, you know? Yeah, definitely. And there is a free version. All the stuff that we're showing you, there's, all, there's a free version, I think, of everything. Um, only if you want to upgrade, you would upgrade. So, uh, yeah, so those are our design graphic tools, uh, Canva, Pixabay, and Unsplash. Now, hopefully these tools were eye-opening for you and exciting. I love using tools that make my life easier or make me look awesome. Like, I am not a graphic designer, but I can definitely look like one with the use of these tools. <laughs> um, but I, I love using tools to help automate things and uh, set me free, like Happy Fourth of July. Anything else you wanted to add about these, Alicia? Uh, just that Canva is my favorite tool in the whole world. It's one of those things that I use every day, too. So it, you know, with this theme being independence, can Canva gives me independence from having to count on graphic designers. And I say that nicely, because how many graphic designers do we have on full-time payroll? Maybe, I have four. How many do you have, Lorette? Two. <laughs> but I still use Canva every day. And it's because I like the independence of creating my own images when I want, for what I want, and they look fantastic if I do say so myself. So, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, so excellent. So once again, thank you everybody for joining us on this training for the Learning Tube. We will see you on the next one and have a great day. All right, everybody, take care. Happy July 4th. Bye, fireworks. Boom. <laughs>